Hello, hello with you. Just take a look at another great tutorial and today's tutorial is about how to fix Windows Security Service Center can't be started. So you are using your Windows 10, Windows 11 or other Windows operating system, but the Windows Security Service cannot be started. So in this video, we are going to see five solutions from basic to advanced. So let's start from the basic solution. So the basic solution when you are receiving such kind of message, it will be the sign of virus. So make sure you make a deep scan to your computer. So to make a deep scan, you can use your Windows security, which is click on the search icon and type here under the search box, Windows security. Windows security, then open the Windows security. Then after that, you will find here virus and threat protection and open it then you will find option of scan options so you will find here different scanning options quick scan full scan custom scan in microsoft defender offline scan i prefer to advise you make a full scan to your computer and after if you find any virus or any harmful things make sure you you block them or quarantine them from your computer and if your Windows security is not functioning well, then you can use a third party uh, antivirus softwares. So you can use, uh, for example, like uh, Malwarebytes. Here, Malwarebytes. Uh, you can find the free version, which is download malware, malware removal. And here the free download and you can scan your computer. So if this solution is not helping you, this, then the second solution is checking the services related with your windows security service so to check the services then click your search icon here and type here services so here you find the services option then right click on it and select run as administrator so after that the service section will be opened and first search for security service then i'll find security center the first one so uh, select security center then right click on it then select properties and check the startup type is automatic or automatic delayed startup if it is not like this then click on here the arrow it's in my case it's already automatic that's why it's uh, grayed out so if, if in your case it's not automatic then click or click here the arrow and you will select from the option then make sure you select automatic or automatic delayed start then after that click apply and select ok then after you do that then select for remote procedure procedure remote procedure call locator again select this one then right click on it and select properties and in my case the startup type is manual on this one so i'm going to select from the options the for example you can take automatic delay start or automatic let's make it automatic and select here apply and select here okay right so here as you can see the remote pro, uh, procedure call locator changes it automatic so make sure you change it like this and the final one window management so we'll scroll to the bottom w window management instrumentation here the window management instrumentation again right click on it then select properties and in my case it's already the startup type is automatic so i'm not going to change it but in your case if it is not manual then change it into automatic then select here apply and select here okay then close the service section and check your windows security center service is started or not so the third solution will be running security center and window management and instrumentation services under local service so to make that follow me the procedure again we are going to open the service section here i will type services and right click on it then run as administrator like what we did earlier then we are going to search for again for security center 
here security center then click the security center then right click on it and again go to properties then select here logo then after you log on in my case it's already under local service but in your case if it's not in local service select this account then browse then after you browse you will find local service option then select the local service option then apply then select ok also do the same for windows management and instrumentation so here we found the windows management then right click on it then select properties then click on logon in my case this one is not under the local service so i'm going to select this account then after that select here browse so after you select browse then you will find here advanced so after the advanced select here find now so you will find here different uh, results then select here local service so after you select the local service then select here okay then as you can see here local service is added then select here okay so here we are under local service so i'm going to insert the password of my computer press the password of your computer then select here apply then select here okay the fourth solution which is fix wmi repository or repairing the wmi repository so to repair that we are going to use the cmd then click here the search icon and type here uh, cmd and after you type cmd then right click on it and select run as administrator so here the cmd opened then here i have some commands that i'm going to put some under the description box the notepad here so under the solution number four here use the command this one accept the quotations don't put the quotations and i'm select copy here then paste it here so as you can see here i copy and paste it here then i press enter so it start processing or repairing if there is any uh, problems related with the wmi repository so in my case wmi repository is consistent but in your case if you are receiving as you are here wmi repository is inconsistent second command is here again don't put the quotations select it then copy and again paste it here and press enter then now it says the wmi repository is consistent in my case uh, which is it's already consistent but in your case you will receive a message of wmi repository has been salvaged and restart your computer after that so i'm going to restart the computer restart it so after the restart check whether the windows security center service is fixed or not then if the problem is still occurring then the final solution will be system file checker to make a system file checker we are going to use again the cmd click here the search icon and type here cmd then right click on it then select run as administrator and again we are we will open the notepad and solution number five is the command here the sfc scanner again don't use the the quotations and select copy then again paste it here and press enter so it will start scanning if there is any integrity violations it will show you it will fix it and wait until the sfc scanner will be completed it may take some minutes so wait patiently so here the CMD completed the SFC scan now and Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations in my case. So restart your computer after the CMD completed type exit and the CMD will uh, close then 
restart your computer so this is all about on how you can fix the windows security center service can't be started i hope this solution helped you to solve your problem and if this video is helpful please like subscribe and give me uh, comments on the comment section share to your friends thank you for watching just take out